Dr. Jim DeCanto, I'm going to be demonstrating some elements of the salad technique for basic airway management as well as advanced airway management. We're going to start simply with a technique by which we're going to place an oral airway while decontaminating a contaminated airway. I'm activating a portable electric suction unit and I'll begin by holding the suction catheter uh, in a reverse angle with the anatomic curve facing anteriorly. I'll begin to decontaminate the oral pharynx of the mannequin and as I reach the hypopharynx, I'm going to actually push the tongue into the floor of the mouth and I'm going to place the airway anatomically proper orientation into the patient's pharynx. I'll also suction to the other side of the oral airway and then remove the suction catheter. In a similar manner, I'm going to utilize the suction assisted technique to place a superglottic airway. This is an IGEL size 4 for a 7 sigma mannequin. I'm going to begin by holding this, uh, the airway um, you know, as high as I can and putting my index finger on the 15 millimeter connector and I'll begin to decontaminate my airway. I'm going to dominate the midline with this technique because what I want to do to create intraoral and hyperpharyngeal space to place a supraglottic airway is push the tongue into the floor of the mouth and lift the tongue off the posterior pharyngeal wall. I'll place the airway and then I'm going to perform a rapid airway decontamination maneuver by placing the rigid suction catheter gently into the 15 millimeter connector and forming a seal with the ring of my hand. This uses the supraglottic airway itself as a suction device. Now we're going to transition to the advanced life support segment of SALAD, suction assisted laryngoscopy. I'll begin with activating my portable suction unit. And as we can see uh, through the, the camera footage of my uh, video learning scope, this is a completely contaminated airway. I'll begin to decontaminate the oral pharynx and hypopharynx. And I'm almost to the bottom of the oral pharynx now of airway contaminant. I'm looking in directly into the airway now. I'm looking at the uvula, looking at the posterior pharyngeal wall. And what I'm going to begin to do now is, let's say the tongue was swollen and I was having difficulty placing the blade. I'm going to begin the process of pushing the tongue into the floor of the mouth and lifting to simplify the insertion of the video learning scope. I visualized the epiglottis and the uh, vollecula. I'm going to visualize the larynx now. And because I am unable to leave the suction catheter on the right side of the mouth during intubation because it will physically obstruct the path of tracheal tube delivery, I'm going to take the suction catheter out and it's going to come over to the left here so you might want to swivel a little bit towards the head of the bed there. I'm going to place this down the left side of the video laryngoscope and into the upper esophagus. That's beautiful. This is called the salad park maneuver. My laryngoscope blade has slid in a little bit too deep for the intubation, so I'm going to perform a micro skill of laryngoscopy where I pinch the laryngoscope blade with my right hand and perform the repositioning actually with my right hand and not something with my left hand. And I now have almost a good view for intubation. That's a great view. What I'll do now is use my preloaded uh, bougie in a tracheal tube, the uh, he, uh, tail of the bougies through the Murphy eye to come around the base of the tongue and into the airway and into the larynx. I'm going to turn this a little bit posteriorly and begin to place this a little bit deeper in the airway. I'll detach the tail of the bougie from the Murphy eye and begin tracheal tube advancement. As I reach this part of the tracheal tube advancement, I'm going to give it a leftward twist to avoid hang up on the right corniculate cartilage and I'm going to place the tracheal tube into the uh, mannequin. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to take out the laryngoscope, remove the bougie, and demonstrate a deep tracheal suctioning maneuver using a flexible suction catheter. You'll notice that I'm just leaving the suction catheter parked in the esophagus as I do this. I'm going to connect this to the flexible suction catheter, occlude the vent uh, control hole, and then withdraw the catheter under suction as I secure the tracheal tube to the patient so I don't accidentally extubate the patient. The summary of the use of this technique is that the suction catheter, aside from its ability to remove airway contaminants, can actually assist the practitioner in the performance of both basic as well as advanced airway management procedures. 
It does so by physically distracting the tongue into the floor of the mouth, distracting the mandible inferiorly, and also anteriorly by lifting the base of the tongue off the posterior pharyngeal wall. It also elevates the epiglottis, which simplifies the insertion of supraglottic airways. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me. This is Dr. Jim Ducanto signing off.